Were you listening or napping? Napping. Napping. That sounds like the choir to me. All right, yeah. Especially Robin. I know that voice, yeah. Yeah. So this, what they're going to do is they're going to color up a shepherd, too. Because you saw, we have a shepherd. And then they brought in their sheep. They're coloring up a shepherd, and you will be invited to take some sheep home yourself to decorate, to mark and make as your own, to remind yourself of this promise that is not just a, oh, look, it's Christmas. Oh, look, it's January 1st. We don't have to do this anymore. Or we can't do this anymore. Don't we wish the Christmas season could just keep going? Caring? Kindness? No, I'm not talking about the lines, the shopping, the cleaning, the everything else that we do to ourselves. I'm talking about what we often call the Christmas spirit. Holding doors open for people, wishing them happy holidays or Merry Christmas, being kind to one another, smiling. Wouldn't that be a concept in this world? Because we celebrate the birth of God, the Son of God, into our midst. That should tell us something about how important this existence really is. He didn't just wave a wand or, you know, the voice from above, it's all right now, don't worry about it, continue on as normal. Very dramatically, God said, this, is, this time now is important. But how often is the now the part we miss because we're worried about what's to come? The lists. The to-dos, the I got to get this taken care of, I got to accomplish, I got to achieve, I've got this thing down the road, I've got to take care of all of it and I got to do it. Or it's simply the fact of we're worried about, you know, well, I need that next thing. I got to get the right gift. I got to get the next generation PlayStation or the new iPhone or the next car. Or I'm worrying, you know, I'm going to, I'm working and waiting and worrying about either my retirement or Friday or whatever it is. How often we're chasing the future, we forget to be present. How often we miss that. Because we allow ourselves to be distracted. We allow ourselves to be lost checking out other things. We're more worried about others in ways that are not helpful to ourselves. Please notice something else that happened. There wasn't a cradle for this Christ child. There wasn't some beautiful, prepared birthing suite for Mary. This was as simple as you can get it. It was not planned as they would like it. It was not what they hoped for. And yet it occurred. And yet the gift still came. This was not the preferred way most of us would want things to happen. And yet it happened. And God reminded us that it happened and God was most definitely there. Now, for those of you who have ever given birth, or for those fathers who've been handed a small child, at that moment, did you know what you were doing? How many of you had read cover to cover what to expect while you were expecting and still went, I don't know what I'm doing? Or you did it before those books came out and you, you, you were no better off or no <laughs> worse off. But the only thing you had to realize at that point in time, despite all things, was you had to be present because that child was present with you right now. Your 
future changed because your present became very important. You all of a sudden had to take on very seriously the role of shepherd to care for. Do you think Mary and Joseph were prepared to have a child? Much less then when after this child was born, go, wait a minute, oh, that's right, it's the Son of God. All they knew is they had to do. They had to be in that moment. They had to trust. And that's how they lived. Their model for us is one of just simple trust. They didn't plan this. This is not how they had worked it out. This wasn't part of their five-year plan. But here's God in their midst right now with them, loving them and caring for them. How might we carry on that Christmas spirit that I referred to earlier with that same understanding of caring and sharing that Mary and Joseph had to live in in that moment? But also, how many people missed out on everything that was going on because of everything else that was going on You know, it took magi from hundreds of miles away. They saw a star, and they followed. How many people also saw that same star and went, oh, or didn't even notice? An angel lights up the countryside outside Bethlehem. And then a host of of the angels show up. And how many people just rolled over and went back to sleep? Or went, oh. How might we learn to be present, which means we pay attention? We care for someone else at that moment as they are, as they present themselves. That's a shepherd. Do you listen to someone to understand? Or do you listen to someone to respond? Are you more worried about what you will say or what the other person is saying? Are you meeting them and greeting them as they are, how they are? Because the Good Shepherd did that for us. We call it grace. This gift comes. We might call it a present. And in this moment, right now, your present right now, do you realize just how much God loves you? And brings to you a gift. Forgiveness, grace, mercy, hope, love. And in this presence, do you realize that you too have that same present? That same present to give forgiveness? To give love, to give hope, to care, to shepherd, to hear and share the good news of God. You know, one of the things that we often, you know, criticize small children about is they have no understanding of consequences. That's because they have a very strong sense of living in the now. And we often do such a good job of training kids that eventually when they become adults, we've lost the ability to play. We've lost the ability to imagine and pretend. We've lost the ability to just stop and color or draw or doodle or do just about anything because we've got to be productive because we've got to accomplish something for the future. Children of God, let me say your future has been accomplished for you by this gift that has come to you. That has been taken care of. May you, as a child of God, find a way to once again enjoy, to find peace that surpasses understanding, to have hope, to be able to sing, to be able to dance, 
to be able to actually celebrate this life that God found so important he decided to join it. So may you find that joy in Christmas and know just how much God loves you by being here. So remember that God loves you, and so do I. And take that present into your present, and hopefully into your future. Amen. And if any of you want to go over there and color for the rest of the service, go on over. <laughs>